Hi, this is Woody. I wanted to expand on my previous video about fueling planes at the new airstrips in sectors Z0 and A4. There may be times when you're low on fuel, but you're up north and may not have enough fuel to make it to the airstrips in the south. And also, if you find a plane at the D4 or the B1, B2 airfields, but you don't have a whole lot of fuel to put in them, then you can just put enough in there to get you to the closest gas station. In fact, Later, I will show you that it's possible to get a full tank of fuel starting out with just one two-liter bottle that only has 20 units of fuel. In my previous video, I showed how at the airfields in Z0 and A4, you can fuel your plane from the runway. At the time, I didn't notice there are indeed these fuel tanks, which can also be used to fuel a vehicle or fill a container. And like the normal gas stations, there's a limited amount of fuel which is once it's all used, it will take some time for it to replenish. Here you see this fuel tank after filling my jerry can is empty. So on a highly populated server, there may be times when these are empty. And as I said in the intro, there may be times when you just don't realize you're low on fuel and you're not near these airfields. The good news is that you can fuel your plane at a regular gas station. And your plane doesn't have to be directly next to the pump. You can pull your plane up along the road in front of the gas station and fuel from there. The only bad news is that some of the regular gas stations aren't easy to land next to. So let's take a look at which gas stations we can land at to refuel. The first gas station that we're going to check out is a C3 gas station. There are clear areas around it, but I like to approach from the west side and land on the hill to the east side of the gas station. And then when I land, I'll turn around and taxi back down to the road by the gas station. Of course, you'll want to be careful as you're approaching as there may be zombies or even worse, bombies, as I call them, the suicide puppets. So be prepared to clear them out if needed before pulling up right next to the gas station. And now here I'm able to refill the plane. So next we're going to land at the gas station at the big city. This is probably the closest gas station to the D4 airfield if you were to find a plane there. Uh, the D3 gas station may be about the same distance or a little closer, but that one will be harder to land at. Once I land, I taxi down to the gas station, being careful not to hit the fences or the light poles as I'm navigating in. Then I'll pull up here and I'll be able to fuel the plane. And once I'm done fueling, I get in my plane, scroll the mouse wheel forward to get the engine started, then scroll it back all the way and then hold C to move the plane in reverse. Then I'll turn it around and navigate back to the main road and then take off from there. So now you get the idea. Just find a place to land and pull up near the gas station and fuel up. I'm going to try a couple more and then I'll show how I can get a plane from the B1, B2 airfield with just a two liter bottle of fuel. So now, here we are trying to land at the D3 gas station, coming in from the northeast. It's a little trickier as I squeeze between the houses on the left and the electrical towers on the right, and then I try to keep it between the trees. This is probably easy for an ace pilot, but I'm not quite there yet. As I pull up here, I still need to be careful if there are puppets. So I'll stop before I pull up right next to the pumps and go and clear them out. I quickly kill all the puppets that are around, and then I get back into my plane. I pull up around the drive to where I can refuel. So I'll try one more gas station after this, and then we'll go to the B1, B2 airfield and show how we can get a plane to a gas station with only a two liter bottle of fuel. So now we are passing the North Quarry as we're heading to the B3 gas station going west from the quarry. 
there's a small opening in the trees that leads down beside the gas station. And as we're making our approach, I realize that even though this wasn't intended to be a tutorial on flying, I should probably explain some of the basics for those not familiar. Once we are ready to descend, we just scroll the mouse wheel all the way back to slow the engine down, and then we pretty much glide into our landing. Once we touch down, we'll want to hold the space bar to slow down and then to stop the plane. Again, we'll clear out the zombies, and then we'll pull the plane up to the gas station and fuel it. Before we get to my favorite gas station to land at, I'll quickly explain how to taxi so that you can maneuver your way in and out of the gas stations. The planes basically have four gears, which are changed using your scroll wheel. If you scroll forward one click, that's first gear, which will start the plane, but it won't move it. Then second gear by scrolling forward one more click. This will start moving the plane slowly. You will use Q and E to turn the plane with the tail rudder. Then scroll forward one more click, then you're in third gear, which is the fastest moving taxiing speed where the plane will not try to take off in the air. And then one more scroll forward, and now you're in fourth gear, which is the fastest speed. The tail of the plane will come off the ground, and soon you'll be lifting off into the air. So let's say you find a plane at the B1, B2 airfield, but all you have is a two liter bottle of fuel, which is 20 units. The plane holds a total of 200 units of fuel, so that isn't a lot of fuel to get anywhere. But as you will see, that's all we're gonna need. I turned off the mechs here, as this isn't to demonstrate how to get by the mechs, which would be an entire video in itself. I've seen a few videos already posted on how to do that. This is just to demonstrate how little fuel you would need to get it out of the airfield. While we were flying over to the B1 gas station, I noticed in the last developer's update they mentioned that they were reworking the gas stations. Now this was in the level design section, so maybe it's only cosmetic changes. So hopefully they're not changing fueling distance for the planes at the normal gas stations. So we'll back off the throttle a little here and hopefully conserve some fuel. Okay, I needed a little more throttle to clear the trees. But now we'll try landing it without doing any damage, as I haven't repaired the plane, so we need to be a little careful here. Okay, looks like we're in good shape. If you happen to stop short of the gas station, just run over with your 2 liter bottle and get some more fuel. And then you can pull the plane up to get it filled all the way up. So that is pretty much it. I want to thank everyone who has viewed my videos and subscribed. I reached my first goal that I set for myself, which is 100 subscribers, so thank you all. If you would like for me to cover a specific topic, uh, feel free to comment below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye!